Hello, this is John from k4programming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at the border layout layout manager and at text areas a little bit. So um, in the last tutorial I showed you how to create a basic application which looks like this, so it's just a window and it's blank. And in this tutorial we're going to start adding some controls to this window. Now, um, this is the point at which Swing gets a little bit complex, but once you can get over this hump, you can tackle all kinds of projects. Because to actually add components um, to a window, you um, need to know something about layout managers. And there are several different layout managers in, in Java Swing. And the task of layout managers is to decide where to put the components in the window and also to kind of um, move those components to appropriate locations and resize them appropriately when you um, expand or contract the window. And that's where a lot of the complexity comes from. Um, but we're going to start with a very simple layout manager here. Um, so at the moment, uh, if, if I look at this uh, the code that we've got so far, um, we've just got um, a really simple, um, we're creating a frame, setting the size of it, setting what happens when you click the cross in a corner and setting it to visible uh, as the last operation when the frame's been set up. And what I'm going to do for a start in this tutorial is something that you'll probably want to do most of the time, which is I'm going to create my own custom child class version of JFrame so that I can put code in the constructor that will add components and will do this stuff. So let's just right click the default package here and go to new class and I'm going to create a new class called main frame um, and that's going to extend JFrame so a handy tip is to um, give your child classes names that refl reflect what kind of thing they are so if you're creating a customized button call it something or other button and a customized frame something or other frame and so on which will kind of help you keep track and I'm going to give this a constructor so public um, main frame like this and uh, the first thing I'm going to do here let's take a look at this app again so here we're setting the title by calling this constructor of JFrame and I'm going to move that code uh, into here I'm going to say super to call the super class constructor um, I'm going to say in there hello world so that's kind of equivalent to Whoops, it means to do that. That's kind of equivalent to this code here. Um, and now I'm going to change this uh, JFrame frame equals new JFrame to um, just a simple command new main frame to create a new class of the main frame type, which I'm defining now. And let's get rid of that and let's take this code and move it into the constructor of my new class. So my main method is just going to be very simple. It's just going to run this main frame object. Let's save that and then I'll go to main frame and in the constructor I'll paste this in um, and now we don't need this frame reference because we can call the methods of the parent class directly like this. Um, so at the moment um, all I've done now really is divide the existing code into two separate files and that will just run as before. But now it's kind of um, neater to add more components to mainframe. Now the first thing to do when you're adding components is to set an appropriate layout manager. And as I mentioned uh, in the introductory um, tutorial, if you go to Google, whoops, go to Google and search for um, visual guide layout swing, something like that you get this rather handy page and this shows you the different kind of layout managers that you can use um, and the most flexible and complex one which we will cover later on is grid bag layout that lets you put things uh, in a sort of very very flexible grid format um, but there are several others you can see most of which we'll be covering to some extent and um, the one that I'm going to show you here is this border layout and border layout is often used to kind of sculpt the, the very basic outlines of an application. Um, so you could use this to add a toolbar at the top, let's say, and panels in, you know, in the middle, the left and the right, 
and maybe something at the bottom like a status bar or something. And what Border Layout does is it just allows you to add components in the center position or the, the compass points basically. So let's use that to add a couple of components. Um, I'm going to go here to my main window and say set layout and I want to pass that an object of the type border layout. So I'll say new border layout here, new border layout and add the import with Control shift o in Eclipse. And then let's create a couple of components that I want to add. And you'll often want to create your components as private instance variables so that you can access them from multiple methods, although that's not always necessary. And I'm going to have here a, um, a J text area. A text area is uh, a region like this editor that I'm working in here, which just contains a whole bunch of text. And if you just want one line of text, you'd use a J text field. And I'll call that text area. Um, and I'm also, I'm going to add the import there. And then I'll also have a private J button. Let's just call that BTN. And add the import for J button. And you can either create your new components directly here, in which case they'll be created, of course, when a class is loaded, or you can create them in your constructor. Uh, in which case they'll be created when the object is created. I, I don't see that it really makes a huge amount of difference, but I'm going to say text area here equals new J text area like that. And I'm going to say button equals new J button. And let's just put some text on that button that says click, click me. And now I can add those components. Uh, to my main frame using this layout manager. Strictly speaking, I'm adding it to um, the content pane of the JFrame. The content pane is like a panel that the JFrame contains, which will contain the components. But we don't need to worry about that here. I can simply say add. Pass in the control that I want to add. So let's say text area. And then pass in a static constant of border layout to say where I want to add this control. So I'm going to say border layout dot center like that, so that I can add the text area right in the middle. And I'll add the button in the south position. I'll say add a button btn border layout dot south like this. And so these controls aren't going to do anything at the moment. But now if I run that. I've got um, this application here, and I can click the button, but it does nothing, and I can type text in here and so on. And in the next tutorial, we're going to look at extending this application and starting to make it do stuff. So that's all for this tutorial. Join me again next time, and until next time, happy coding.